Okay, guys, welcome back to the last uh, Amazon bow guide here. Um, I might do a strafe guide, but strafe is kind of like a meme, unless you're proccing stuff. So I'll look into it, but I, I doubt I'm going to do it. Um, it'll probably end up being too poo-poo, and then I won't, won't need to do a video. So uh, this one is the Magic Arrow video. So uh, why go Magic Arrow? Well, Magic Arrow is kind of like multi-shot in the sense that it has a spread. Um, biggest advantage here is that it's doing magic damage. So having a bunch of magic damage on your on your uh, your abilities is, is always great because very few things are immune to magic damage. So um, in that sense, let's take a look. So we're going to max it and its synergies. So guided arrow and inner sight and illuminate. So those are the synergies. And then, of course, you're going to get one point and everything else, like before. And you want your crit strike and your pierce to be, you know, pretty high. So crit's at 54, pierce is at 90. Um, interesting thing, though, like inner sight is, yeah, like, the, the problem is, is, like, you got to cast it. And it's not worth casting. Um, like, yeah, great. They get illuminated so the thing that it does is right is it lowers their defense but because we're doing magic damage and our attack rating is so high that it doesn't it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter so you don't need to inner sight ever and then uh, the other one that you max which is neat is slow movement so you could cast this if you wanted if there's like a reason to but it's really only going to stop projectiles so not a big deal at all um, so yeah, that's it for the spells. Same thing over here. Strength needs to be high enough to wear your gear. Some decks and then vit. Um, we're going to have um, bow and crossbow skillers, torch nanny, all resist stuff. Cannot be frozen, slam. All the same crap as last video. <coughs> in terms of gear, we're going to go double wisp. Um, this one we want to max uh, all skills. So or bow and crossbow skills. So that's what we're really trying to get the highest here. So arachnids is the only way to go. Um, the plus two on the gloves, same gloves as before. These are like GG gloves, so something like that. Uh, war traps, there's nothing in this slot. So we just take the war traps for the magic find and the damage. We want two to bow and crossbow skills on, on, the, on the, um, the quiver and maybe one to all skills as a slam would be ideal. Uh, any armor with two to all skills. Uh, I would prefer ones where you can get sockets in it, like this one. Uh, I've put an attack speed uh, jewel in there to get to the attack speed breakpoint. For a ward bow, it's 75, which is what this is. So we're at 80, which is enough. Um, I've also put one socket in an Andes for another 15% attack speed. So that's great. Uh, I would. You 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 know you'd have three to a three plus one here. So I've I've simulated a three plus one by adding one more bow to skill, uh, bow and crossbow skill um, charm. <coughs> one sec, sorry. So that is a three plus one ammy. And then swap is CTA and lidless again, same thing. This is almost identical to the fire or frost build. Only difference here is that there's no way to, there's no such thing as a magic faucet, and there's like no, not many items that increase your magic damage, so and none that are ranged for our case. So there's really only two bows, because our, our primary goal here is to get as many points in magic arrow as possible. So this one gives us six. As you can see, we get two design skills and four overall. I've upped this to a ward bow, so it does more damage. <clears throat> it also has 15% mana steel, which is cool. A lot of enhanced damage, and I've I've put three sockets in here with enhanced damage um, jewels. So that's the one option. Second option is a zenith. <coughs> zenith has five dual skills basically for us. I tried using melody, but it's just it's just not as good as zenith, even though it's one more skill. Um, Zenith has the, the try damage on it, ignores target defense, and faster run walk, as well as its own attack speed. So, um, And also, you'll notice when we use the Zenith, we get our resistances maxed, which we don't get when we're using the mage. The, 
MMA draft. So keep that in mind. You're using one of these two bows. Let's use this one for now. Um, again, we want fanaticism aura. Nothing different here on the on the merc. And buff yourself. Summon your stuff. Buff it. Not much to say. Um, you you have one spell. Guided arrow doesn't scale with magic damage. It scales with physical damage. So you're never using that. Sheet damage is 9 to 11k uh, magic damage, which is about around the same as the Sanctuary Paladin. So these are pretty much in line with each other. You'll see it pierces, and it shoots about 5 missiles. So Clear speed's really high. It's pretty good, like nothing wrong with it. It's a little bit weaker than the fire or the frost one, which you'd expect because it's it's magic damage, so it has to have some disadvantage. You can see the attack speed on a ward bow is really nice. It's like 3.57. So yeah, this is totally a viable build. And if I'm being honest, compared to the fire and and cold builds, I would go this build just because it doesn't hit immunities. So now let's try the zenith. Same attack speed. Um, we're at 100 now with the Zenith, and you need 99 to hit the breakpoint on Zenith, so our gear setup is the same. But you'll notice our sheet damage is a little higher, so the Zenith is is a better weapon, just because it adds that elemental damage. And also it's going to make us capped on our resistances, so it's way more expensive than, than Mage Wrath. Mage Wrath is basically free. Maybe not a perfect one, but you'll notice our mana is getting low because we don't have as much mana steel. We only have five now. So, so that is one thing to consider. It's more damage, but you don't have as much mana. <coughs> And uh, sorry, I'm losing my voice now, so I'm going to cut the video early, but basically, yeah, magic, magic arrow is a thing. It works, and it's just about as good as the other ones, if not better, because it doesn't hit immunities. So I'll leave that there, but definitely consider it. This one will be pretty viable and really not that expensive.